If you work with others remotely and think tools like Zoom, Google Meet, Teams or Slack are just not cutting it, I'm here to show you an exciting new tool that's not just functional to work and collaborate with others, but it's also fun and exciting to use. It simulates as close to an office in the real world that I've seen yet. Today, we're going to explore Roam. It's a new virtual office platform that's transforming how people work and collaborate together. Think of Roam as your virtual office. It's designed to bring your entire company or team into a digital headquarters. I absolutely love looking at platforms like these, not only because it's exciting to see the future of work, but also I often see these types of platforms being used by people building online communities, especially if you're looking to collaborate with each other, you need to work on a project together towards a common goal. Platforms like Roam are not only useful just for companies, but they're also great for communities that want to work together on projects and achieve their common goal. So let's take a look at their key features. This is their simulated demo version, which I highly recommend taking a look at because it's one of the best product demos I've seen in a long time. You can see that you've got a real time map here. There's sound effects, which are awesome. Hey Howard, saw you had a VIP in your office. Could we give them a quick tour of a video meeting room? Look out for an invite from Huffy. You can see here, we've got a map of the office and you've got different floors that you can go to, which again, it's just simulating a real world office. You get a bird's eye view of your entire team. It shows who's available and who isn't, but you can knock on the offices of anybody else that is available to chat. And it's really simple to you. I've seen platforms like this before, but here's where Roam does things differently. So what's really great is you have all the capabilities that you're used to with Slack or Teams, You've got access to real-time chat. You've got DMs and it's just really intuitive and easy to use. Now, I love this concept called the shelf. And this is where Roam really differentiates themselves versus other platforms that have this similar sort of map and you can enter different offices. This is where they get closer to reality. So you can get to know people better because they can customize their offices and add things to their shelves that are important to them. It can be work related, it can be personal, but it's really cool to be able to enter people's offices and be able to see what they're interested in and get to know them better in a more seamless way that simulates real life. So I find that the audio and video is just so much more seamless as well. You knock on people's doors, you enter, and then you find that you're in a room with them. It's so different to like hopping on a Zoom link I should get the ro.am slash John Lobby link. It was my idea. Yeah, but I made it. I should get it. See the full map? Oh yeah. You start in the overworld. Then you tap into your roam. You can move around your map and pinch and zoom. You also have access to whiteboards so that you can collaborate, you can brainstorm and prototype. It's all integrated into this. So I love this concept called Magic Minutes in the app. It's where we have AI helping us summarize meetings, take notes and provide transcripts. We've all seen people start to use AI powered tools in Zoom meetings. This is all integrated automatically into the app and it's just really easy to use and you get the transcript in your inbox after that you finish the call. Okay, let's talk about the pros of using Roam. So it's an all-in-one solution. You can replace multiple apps with a single integrated platform. We've got video capabilities, real-time chat, calendar, whiteboard, AI transcripts and summaries. You can host events in their theater. There's tons of features all in this one platform versus you having to pick things like Zoom and then adding Miro or if you're using Slack and then you're adding apps in to try to integrate everything. This has a ton of features all in the one app. The other great thing is that you can use this right in your browser as well, or you can download the app as well. You can have spontaneous meetings with Roam. You can easily join a meeting knock on someone's door and then be in the room with them. It's really interesting as the results from people using this platform so far. 
apparently 85% of users report feeling more connected after just two days of using Roam. So that's a huge pro. It's cost efficient and I'll talk about pricing in a little while, but just know that it's more affordable than adding in a whole bunch of subscriptions together. And like I mentioned, there's advanced features like AI that can provide summaries of your meetings, as well as features like noise cancellation. All right, the cons to consider. There is a learning curve with this. So new users may need some time to adapt to the virtual office concept. It does require decent internet. So if you do have unstable internet, it's gonna be an issue to be able to use this platform. And also currently we're at limited availability. So you can use this platform for up to 50 members ideally. It does have the capability to cater to larger teams of up to about 199 people in its beta phase. But yeah, there are some limits to this platform currently. So if you're looking for something that can host more than 200 people at one point, it we're currently not there yet with Rome. Now let's take a look at pricing. So it's a simple pricing. It offers a one month free trial and then afterwards the price is $9.97 per active user. I think it's really smart that they only charge for active members only. So say somebody doesn't use the platform for a month, you're not gonna be charged for that person. Also this pricing is for everyone. So there's no special pricing if you're a certain company, you, everybody gets charged the same price. You can also host guests free of charge. So if you have people that you would like to visit your virtual office, then they're free and they don't count as active members. And any new member that you bring, you get a free month. So I think that's really great that people can try out the platform first without having to pay. There's no upsells, which is great. Yeah, you're only paying for members that actually use this platform. Just on a side note, I absolutely love their demo room and I highly recommend going to just take a look at how they've introduced this platform. It's really easy to try it out for yourself. You just enter your name in the browser and you can drop in just like I did. Like I mentioned, you can drop in the browser, but you can also download this app for Mac or Intel based Mac. There you have it, the future of work, the office of tomorrow. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Rome? Give it a try. Let me know in the comments. Would you use this for your company, for your community, to work on a project together? I think it's awesome that people are trying to break the habit of jumping into a zoo and looking at alternatives. It's always been something that interests me. So if you know another product that I should be taking a look at, please drop the link as well. I have a bunch of other platforms that I've covered that are also alternatives to Zoom. So take a look at those. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.